you very much. We're just going to start playing.
up in the black church and I'm used to people responding to, I'm not a preacher now. But I'm used to people responding to the poetry. So we're gonna have a lively performance today. Uh, what we're going to do today, before I introduce the group, uh, that was a number by Shook, I mean, that was a number by Stanley Turrentine. How many of you know Stanley Turrentine? Okay. And, and if I'm looking to roll my eyes here to the left for my wife of uh, 50 years. Because I'm always being accused of talking too much. So, so since, since we're on a time uh, <laughs> thing here, I am so glad to be here at the Frick Museum uh, with Sister Cato and, and Amanda and, and the crew and, and Devin and, and everybody. Uh, I think they're doing a beautiful job of preserving history. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we're working with Hadad. Hadad, Hadad is one of our sister organizations. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna try to highlight a lot of Pittsburgh musicians. Ramir Bearden was a Pittsburgh artist and musician, and he loved music. And I don't know if you know it, but Pittsburgh put out more jazz musicians of note and innovations than any other city in the world. This is my people New York, New York, New Orleans, Detroit, London, Paris, all of it. So we're gonna to try to highlight some of those today. I want to introduce the group right quick. Over there on the saxophone is the great master himself, Jay Willis. Tell us that. My little brother from another mother, uh, he's, he hails from Cuba, the reincarnation of Hugo, <laughs> Hugo, I mean Channel Pozo. Hugo Cruz, Cruz. One of the world's greatest music scholars, and he knows all music. You know, not just jazz. If you ask him about anything, he has a lot to say. On the drums, Dr. Ken Foley. A person from Trinidad by way of Pitt Hill. This is a steel pan drummer, Hilary Bonio. Here at Catacorn to my left is the bass player. We've traveled throughout the United States and to Caribbean. Anyway, we've, <laughs> we've been everywhere. He's been with me since the early, no, since the mid-70s. Officer Dan Watson, here we are. I'm gonna introduce this next lady because she takes a personal touch of introduction. How many of you know the name Duke Ellington first? Okay, that's the first question. Second question. How many of you know the name Billy Straymore? That's good. Because I could have gotten a real sexual chocolate clap. Said, okay, we, we need to educate some people. Sweet Pea, as they called him, and Duke Ellington had what was called a musical marriage. They used to complete each other's thoughts. He went all the way to West, Westinghouse High School, like a lot of other musicians. Uh, of note, went to Westing House High School, right around the corner here. And he was a great arranger. We're gonna play one of his tunes, it's a ballad. I many of you have heard the number called Lush Life? We're gonna do Lush Life, uh, and uh, I'll open up and we're gonna see what happens. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but we're gonna figure something out. So I feel my wife's bag, I tell you, that. shut up and play. I'm gonna do that.
Yeah.
meant to him. And these are the changes.
we'll all see it at the same time. All right, and we're going to keep her, you know, she's going to be wrong.